with an FC TV with Chris Agata following tonight's 5 0 win over Eastbourne United in the Sussex Transport Senior Cup. Aggie, that must have gone probably exactly how you planned it. Five five goals, clean sheet, and a chance to blood some youngsters and give them some important minutes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Uh, very happy. Um, first and foremost, we obviously want to keep winning. Uh, we want to. We want to try and win this competition, so um, priority was to obviously progress, and we've done that. Um, there's a few first team players that needed um, game time, and to be fair, there's a few that have come in tonight that have given us some real um, headaches, which is good, like good headaches. Um, we looked at a couple of things as well, like Mo playing wide. I thought Mo looked very good wide. Um, Temi getting a first start for a while and um, Temi being Temi was a handful. Paco was good along the back line. Yeah, loads of loads of positives to take. Um, I thought some of the football was excellent. Um, created a lot of chances. I, I think the first first goal was as good a goal as you'll see. Um, brilliant team goal, worked it superbly. It reminded me of the Morecambe game. But this time we in the back of net rather than cookie kicking it into the rough houses but um yeah some some really some really good football play some really effective football played and and uh yeah deserved deservedly won yeah you mentioned mo Fowl playing out wide i just wondered is that something that you're looking at i guess tonight was a little bit of an experiment um, um to look at going forward. well when i first saw mo that's where he played um and i know he scored a lot of goals from those positions, um, he plays it very differently to Nicky. Nicky's more of a traditional winger and um, um, more assists rather than goals, I'd say. Um, whereas Mo plays it more as like a wide forward, um, more of a Mane, Salah type, goal scoring wide player as opposed to a, uh, like I said, like Nicky, more of a traditional winger. So it just gives us a different option out there. We know it, we know we can do it, and we thought tonight was a good opportunity to do that. I really like that front three. I thought, um, obviously, Temi and Mo scored four between them tonight, but I thought Ollie Starkey was very, very good on the other side. Um, so, I, yeah, I really like the front three, um, and I thought they were supported very well by the rest of the team. So, um, it just gives us another option. And it means you can fit Tammy and Mo together, <laughs> and Tammy's obviously banging on the door as well. Yeah, Tem I thought Tammy at the weekend, um, I don't know whether we sort of give him enough credit really for when he come on, I thought he was superb, so... Um, you know, I think he's been very good tonight. Obviously, the two goals are great, but his, his link play and bringing others into the game was very good. That's improved a lot, um, especially when he first come in. Um, it was an area that he needed to work on. He's obviously always been very powerful, athletic, and there's a real physical presence. Um, but we've done some good work with him back to goal, and I think you can see that over the last couple of games where um, He's, he's been a, a key part of some of our best moments, which is uh, you know, which is exciting. And obviously, with it being a cup competition, it meant that you were able to name a few of the, the youth lads who have been doing really well, Cooper, Freddie and Arthur, yeah. all had minutes tonight and, and looked pretty good coming on in that second. Yeah, Arthur. Arthur's like, I think he's obviously not an established first team player, but he's definitely a first team squad member and I wouldn't hesitate to put Arthur in a National League South game now. Um, only problem for Arthur is he's competing with Sam Beard <laughs> and Ollie Black and uh, Nicky Wheeler and potentially Mo Farr in the positions that he plays but um, yeah Arthur um, has been excellent and obviously it's his second first team appearance. Um, yeah I don't um, I think the, the best sort of compliment I can give Arthur is I don't look at him as a youth team player I look at him as a first team player and um, Cooper has been excellent um, with the 18s, he's trained with us all year um, and I thought he was involved in some of our best moments in the second half. Some of his playing off one and two touch and link play and bringing others into the game was very good and Freddie Chester, um, he was the first youth team player when I come to the club that I saw and thought, oh, I really like him. He's got, I, like, I call him Sander Berg, you know, the, the lad that played for uh, Sheffield United and Burnley, like he's, he's obviously had to go in at centre half tonight um, which it definitely is in his position but he's done a great job there and um, yeah I, I really like I really like all three of those lads um, and you know Horndean uh, working with Fred as well so Fred's out on loan at Horndean um, 
and I know they're doing some great work with him. So it's, yeah, it's it's exciting. It, it's it's interesting with the the academy players because you could argue we could put more in, but I've seen it in the past where you filled a lot more of the younger players and in a, this type of game and I'm not sure it gives them the best opportunity to showcase what they can do whereas those three lads that have played tonight same as the two lads that played in the previous round they've played in a first team uh, game of football with first team players and I think it gives them the best opportunity to really showcase what they can do um, and equally those those guys have, have earned the opportunity it's not going to be given to them and they've earned it and uh, I think you can see why with their performance tonight Congratulations to Matt Aggie. Cheers Jack, thank you.